Hello, and welcome to uh, another Tales from My Backlog, where I'm going to be talking about the 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog film. So, this film has been uh, on my radar ever since it came out, uh, and was even announced to be uh, worked on. You know, because video game movies, you know, video games that end up becoming movies, usually don't have the best track record for that, you know. Um, there are so many that I could list off, like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, uh, the original Super Mario Brothers movie that came out, you know, with um, that was live action, you know. Um, some people would say Detective Pikachu uh, from 2019, though I've only seen it the once, so I can't really talk too much on that. I enjoyed the film when I went to see it in cinema, but that's either here nor there. I'll do a review of that at some point. Um, and again, the list is endless for um, video games that become movies. And that's why I'm, you know, a little hesitant on the Gears of War movie that is happening from Netflix. I mean, it's been, it's been nearly two years or has been two years and we haven't heard anything on that yet. So, fingers crossed. But anyway, yeah, the Sonic movie. What did I think of it, you know? Because with Sonic 3 coming out this year... And them bringing in Shadow, which is, I'm pretty sure every Sonic fan loves Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, I certainly did. Now, I was, I haven't, you know, grown up with, I grew up with Sonic, but I never really played the, I played the games. Uh, just never to completion. Um, I remember as a wee kid playing um, on the original um mega drive because that's what it was called in europe uh, the sega mega drive whereas in the us i know it's known as the genesis so i remember playing sonic one on my um cousin's mega drive um or master system was it master system no master system came before i'm confusing myself uh and then of course as i grew up i played sonic i played a good chunk of sonic heroes sonic riders on ps2 um, played a bit of Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, Sonic and the Dark Knight, or is it Sonic and the Black Knight? One of the, you know, the Wii game where, uh, Sonic gets sent back in time to, uh, Camelot time, you know, um, <clears throat> and he gets, he becomes, you know, essentially becomes King Arthur with Excalibur and all that. I really love that, and I love the soundtrack, you know, Crush 40, fantastic, uh, done fantastic for that soundtrack. Anyway. I'm getting besides the point here. So Sonic the movie, what did I think of it? I enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed it. And uh, which I'm happy about, you know, because I, like I said, I remember when, uh, just even before it came out, when they released the first trailer for this with the, what everyone is now dubbed Ugly Sonic got revealed. I remember looking at that, I was like, really? They're going with this? And I'm going to be completely honest. When this was happening, you know, the campaign to get them these this the studio to redesign Sonic I was I was thinking to myself no this is not going to happen because I know in from previous experience with other franchises usually that doesn't happen you know um the owner of certain property like Cirque de Freak the Vampire's assistant Darren Chan he tried to have some creative input on his film um they they didn't they went their own direction um, which Darren has, has always said that he liked the film, uh, which I do as well, you know, I did a review for it, and even Darren Chan himself tweeted about it, or X'd about it, um, and then Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Evolution, something that was going to be so hyped, and it was a huge letdown that, like, it, it, even Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, was pushed to the way, wayside for that film, so I was happy with the redesign that we got uh, in this movie. And it looks it still looks great. You know, near four years on, it looks absolutely amazing. And I had fun with this film, you know, as a live action video game movie. Now, like I said, I know it's not gonna be to everyone's taste. Uh, there are some parts that weren't to my taste, um, like Jim Carrey. I love Jim Carrey. I grew up on Jim Carrey films, but I, I liked him in this film. Um, but as Robotnik, Eggman, I, I think I need to watch the second one before I know for sure how I feel about 
uh, him as Robotnik. Because whilst, yes, he was zany and a little bit crazy, he wasn't, it's not as, like, I would have known for, like, Robotnik. Because, again, I grew up watching Sonic X on Jetix, Sonic Underground, you know, the, the Sonic Underground, the show that not a lot of people... Sonic fans really know all, all about um, that had a fucking phenomenal opening theme song that but it was so good that I, I'm lost for words here as well as the early uh, 80s Sonic cartoon uh, well 90s cartoon I think it was um, I grew up watching rerun episodes of that whenever they appeared um, and like I said I, I listed off most of the Sonic games that I had played uh, so yeah, I was iffy when they announced that Jim Carrey was going to be Robotnik. I'm still iffy, literally after finishing watching the film. But it was good. It was a good, uh, family-friendly film. They censored out the son of a bitch part uh, line that Robotnik was going to say. Uh, I think it was Robotnik, or it might have been uh, Cyclops. Because, yeah, the actor who um, uh, plays Donut Lord, I forget his the, the, the character's actual name was a Cyclops in the early 2000s X-Men. Um, but yeah, I had a fun time. I had a fun time. Uh, you know, for, as as kids' movies goes, uh, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's uh, like a little mixed bag on it because I know on Letterboxd it was at a 2.8 um, for like how like all the audience that watched it said. Uh, and I'm, I would trust letterboxed more than I would trust um, Rotten Tomatoes. But anyway, that's either here nor there. I enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to give uh, Sonic 2 a go um, because I want to see how Idris Elba plays Knuckles. I've seen clips of it, but it's not enough for me to form my own opinion on Idris Elba's performance as Knuckles, um, as well as, you know, Tails and, you know, giving Robotnik another chance with uh, Jim Carrey's because I think from the few clips that I have seen, you know, Jim Carrey is Jim Carrey as Robotnik in that, you know, um, so yeah, I'm definitely, I'll definitely give it another shot. I enjoyed it for what it was and I will eventually give Sonic 2 a shot and I like it, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. So that's going to wrap up this review and uh, the next review, uh, which will be Friday, is going to be... Um, a review for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the original anime, but for the very first arc, the Duelist Kingdom Saga, is all I'm going to be reviewing. Because I decided if I'm going to be reviewing it, I'm going to do it in arcs rather than the whole season. But I'll explain more about that on Friday. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if, if you've seen um, the 2020 Sonic film and what you thought of it in the comments down below. And I will see you all on Friday for uh, the Sonic review.